All right, here we go again. So this is my 3CX phone install. And I'm going to hit next, obviously, except you kind of need to keep this default. Obviously, you have to choose this. You can't choose IIS unless you're on a server. Um, HTTPS is fine. You can just go ahead and put whatever you want to put. It doesn't really matter at this point. Uh, let's see. All right. Now, I'm going to pause this while it installs. All right. So, it's back. Um Nothing happened aside from it just going through its little wizard. Uh, nothing else popped up except for just this. Finish. All right. It's doing the whole wizard. Or it will be doing the wizard in a second, asking me for the extensions and stuff. All right. So this is my public IP address. Uh, well, we don't really need my public IP. I'll just put... Uh, I don't care. 1x1111. One 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 one. Okay. This is your external public IP address, probably put in there by Comcast or Time Warner or whoever your internet provider is. Create new. Uh, this, I always, I've done this over 20 different clients uh, just in the last six months. I always do three digit extensions. Um, this is mail server stuff. Uh, so if you uh, choose to have voice over email, uh, sorry. Yeah, uh, if you choose to have um, voicemail to email, uh, if you get an e if you get a email a uh, voicemail from Bob, it will email you the attachment um, to your email address in your extension settings. Uh, we don't need to fill that out right now. Obviously, that's going to change. Um, doesn't really matter. This is for the GUI. All right, name. So this is the part that matters. Always make sure you remember to change different stuff. So like, um, we're gonna put extension 201. That's a pretty popular extension that most people use. Uh, we're gonna put my name. I'm gonna put my last name. Uh, I'm gonna put my personal email. So this is not tied into my workplace. Uh, extension I authentication ID. This is the part that's going to get sent to and provisioned on the phones to authenticate you are extension 201 what I always do is I just choose the same cho just choose the extension that way it keeps it simple this doesn't really matter what it is if you provision the phone properly it, it you won't give it it won't give a damn voicemail pin uh, just for the sake of simplicity purposes one two three four five six Mac address this is going to be important very very important if you have um, if you plan on doing some sort of uh, phone uh, like a, a Cisco um, SPA or a Yealink or Snome or Grandstream any of those actual physical phones that's where this is gonna come into play as you can see this is what I was just talking about um, we don't really matter this is this doesn't matter because we have we're gonna just use 3CX phone, which should be running in just a second, so you can see what it looks like. Yeah, you probably see the top of it loading right here. Hold on. Nah, hold on. All right, so this is my 3CX phone, and this is just so you can see it, because I have a recording screen. This is the sweet stuff that you can you you can like right click and and like intercom with certain people intercom um, but that's my work my own personal work information because I work from home a lot all right so this is just the IP address of your phone system uh, typically it's going to be a standard IP address that's different than this like the ones that we use for my clients um, is 192.168.1.5 for instance. Um, but that doesn't really matter. This this right here is just the pub. This is my internal LAN I address that I got from my Linksys router. Uh, all right, so we have that. That's fine. Um, so extension number, we'll just do two hundred two because I want to be able to call. Um, Peggy Sue. It doesn't really matter. 202, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. She does not need anything else. 
move that down just so you can see everything. Uh, let's see, we are obviously going to be, as most of you are going to be in the United States. Uh, operator, I guess I can be the operator. Uh, I, I came out of a Cisco CME type environment where I was doing CLI for Cisco routers and iOS and um, the UC 500 series routers. So I always add that 399 because that's the pilot address of the Cisco. So just to keep it the same. This is for a voice over IP provider. What that means is if you are one of the many people moving your analog line, porting the number to voice over IP, your number should be listed, your provider. Uh, we usually use, um, where is it? We usually use uh, Next Vortex a lot for stuff, and they seem to be pretty good. But we're going to skip that because I don't have any credentials on me. And I'm going to pause this real quick, even though it shouldn't take that long. All right, so this is a wizard that's done. Um, we don't really care about this. We don't care about this either. Blah, blah, blah. I don't need that. All right. So now, um, anything that you should, just something that you should know is anytime you have a local install like this, you can access it one of two ways. Either you can, you can't see my start button, but hold on a second. Either you can use the, Google, uh, the website way, or if you're on the local computer itself, you can use this. Personally, I like the web GUI because you can hit control F and I do a lot of voice over IP stuff. So it's nice to be able to find uh, bad SIP stuff in a whole conversation um, just by hitting the find button. Because the filtering options a lot better than Cisco, but still it's a pain. Um, anyway, so this is where you put the same stuff, blah, blah, blah. All right. So this is what you see. Obviously, right here, this is, uh, you know, you have this stuff. So, um, usually we recommend just going in there and, you know, making sure you're all up to date. Uh, this is obviously a test, so we don't really care. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this, settings, configure accounts, uh, add account, test, Jeremy, whatever. I don't, it doesn't, whatever. Uh, 201, extension 201, ID 201. See, the only time you'll need that authentication password is if you're doing this. But you can just get that by going to general and pressing that little lovely button. All right, password, boop, in office. 192.168.2.122. Oops. 168.2.122. All right. Now let's enable back. All right. Now. Okay. Okay. So now it's on the hook. It says it's available. I can. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but. Record your message and press pound or press star to contact the operator. All right, so that's, so that was my voicemail, if you even heard it. Um, that's what happens if you first call somebody. So I'm going to call extension 202 just so you can see um, what happens. Mm. 202. So it, it's it's just like Peggy Sue's record your message. Okay. So Peggy Sue, her phone by default goes off from this little red part right here. This says that the phone is not available to be answered. So what we can do uh, let's see. All right, so we can go to extensions. First thing I want to try doing is, um, this is a, where you have all your information, Pula 2. Your voicemail and stuff, your forwarding rules, blah, 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 blah. All right. I'm also going to try to see if I can make a second instance of 3CX phone. Uh, open. No, damn it. All right. Well, uh, I can use my cell phone. 
you can't see this right now, but my cell phone's on Wi-Fi, so as long as I use the same information, I'm good to go, just so we can have a basic understanding of, um, uh, hold on a second, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get through this, and I'm gonna set both phones up so you can hear, so, so you can hear them ring and communicate back and forth until one of them is on the phone, so hang tight. Okay. Alright, so we're back. And I use this information, and that can be part of a different video where I show you how to do it on the cell phone. Um, okay, so now, just by entering the information, it's basically the same exact thing as what this is, only on an Android phone. Um, so I installed, I, I did that stuff, and now it should come up green. Okay, so now if I call Peggy with this, you should... Uh, hold on. It's, uh... Whoops. Hold on. Alright, so now that my... It's not on silent. Okay. So you heard it. La la la. La 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 la. la. Alright, so you can hear me talking to me. Okay. So now, same goes true if I dial 201. You can hear that. Answer. All right. All right. That's good. I want to go put it back on silent because my Facebook likes to blow up when I post rants. Okay. Um, so that's good. But see, if I am on the phone with Jeremy, forwarding rules right here. Right here. I want my. I want to be able to accept more than one call at the same time. Okay. So you need to push this. Uh, we'll just go over some of this stuff. This is available, um, so that, say, you, you see right here where it says available, away, out of office. That's what these are all for. So if my phone is available, if the call is not answered within 20 seconds, obviously send them by voicemail. I can do different things right here. Um, phone is busy, which is where, which is, my phone would be busy if this was unchecked. Like right now, if I'm on the phone, my phone is busy. Uh, but I want to be able to allow call waiting calls. So if I want to be able to accept more than one call, so I'll, I'll show you for instance, so you can see 399, I'm going to call voicemail. Um, okay. So you might, you should be able to Please that. enter personal identification number, I, then press pound. I am going to now call 201 and put on speakerphone. Record your message and press pound. Or press star to contact feed. Okay, Please so, enter. Shut up. All right, so see, that went right directly to voicemail. If I do this, and I want to accept more at the same time. All right, who did I do that to? Me? Yep, okay. All right, so now, say for instance, I'm on voicemail. Please enter personal identification number, then press pound. Okay. So now you can hear the phone still ringing, and this is blinking because it's allowing, see, in, out. Please enter extension number. I'm on the phone, and see, right here. Right here. So I just so answered I just, the call. So, so uh, 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 all right, hold on. Me, okay, so technically I was still on hold right here. Well, see, I'm still on hold. Please enter extension. End, okay. So now, now they're both back to being available. Another issue, another layer of this is, uh, say for instance, somebody has a ring group. A ring group is a virtual extension where all the phones listed ring. If you're used to Cisco and things like that, it's called a blast group. So name, test, whatever. Uh, ring all and prioritized. You can also do um, paging, but this is the free version because I didn't want to activate one of my other licensing. So uh, I can add these two. Okay. There. So now if I call, for instance, 800, uh, which I just realized uh, I can't do a blast group. All right. Well. Uh, okay, right there. Thur, ring groups not available in free version. Okay. 
wish I'd saw that before and made myself look like an idiot. Okay, anyway, this is a free version. I have uh, several licensing. I don't want to activate my licensing on here just to show you stuff. Um, maybe if I make a lot more videos, it'll be worth it. But custom parameters. So see right here, allow use. That's the best way to look for it. So if you go up here and go find allow use. All right. So now let me expand this so you can see what it is. Okay. Equals one will enable use of phone busy status instead of PBX status for members. Uh, hold on. I... All right. Okay. So what that means is if I put a one here, this will make use of the phone busy status of a blast group. So say for instance, these both had, okay, so now because both of these phones allow call waiting, both of these phones would have to be on the phone with two different people in order for this blast group to go, in order for this, well, I'll just say ring group, ring group I guess, uh, except for, um, okay, to, allow, to make this ring group go to voicemail, which happens right here. Uh, or whatever you want to have happen. If you want to get it to skip the ring group members section, both of these participants would need to be on the phone. Because that way, it's not the busy of the ring group now, since we made that change. It's the busy of the actual members of the group. So, if Peggy's on the phone with two different people, and I'm on the phone with one, that blast group is then going to make my phone ring because it's an incoming call equaling four people total because there's only two people and they support call waiting at that point a fifth call would send the call to the right one of these whatever you have set up right here um all right so this is going to be my first video and i'm going to stop right here just so i can take something to drink um i might do a couple more things i don't know um but I'm going to upload this and see. But we'll just go. Um, yeah. All right. I'm just going to stop. All right.